Hello everyone, it's the uh, 7th of April and this week we've got Welcome to a Woodbury. Um, we've also got Charged Assaults, which is always a nice class bonus to have. Um, I want to start by saying sorry I didn't make any commentary videos last week. Um, it's not been, we've not been very well in our household, I'm, I'm still not great. Um, so I will try and do some uh, this week, but I uh, can't promise anything, but I will put my videos up as usual. Uh, Welcome to Woodbury is one of my least favourite challenge sets, um, particularly because it's got the breach in it, which I think is my least liked uh, map uh, of all time. Um, but at least they've got rid of Backyard Arena, uh, which they've replaced with uh, Death Trap, um, which is the first map I'm going to talk about today. One of the easiest ones, uh, you've got to open the door, uh, which takes two turns. There's a tank somewhere hidden, usually, um, to the right-hand side. Um, you can either kill everything um, and keep the threat down, um, which is fine at lower levels, um, or you can just charge for the door, um, hoping that it's not a blocked entrance like it is here. Um, I imagine three assaults or a bruiser and two assaults is going to be a good, good go two team on this uh, go around stun everything get on the door and if you have to take a hit from the brute from a tank when you do um sometimes you probably won't have to um depending on how it's set up over there um the next map is new home and this can be a really tough map um you have to get to the door on the right hand side and open it for two turns um and again there is um two ways of doing this um first thing i want to mention though is um you don't need to actually push this dumpster uh circled in orange um and if you do push it uh it will start um auto spawns coming from this gate at the bottom here um at the end zone so it's probably best not to push it um and the red circle to the left Although it looks like an intact fence, uh, there is actually a hole in that fence which walkers can get through. So if you're using the first tactic I'm going to talk about, which is kill walkers uh, and keep the threat down, um, you'll probably be ending up going up in that top left corner at some point. And if there's walkers behind that fence, they will come and get you. So just be careful for that. Um, do you... So to kill all walkers, you can use Huntsman, Darrow and lead with a bruiser and Rick with threat reduction. Um, just prowl past everything. Um, they'll come at you in a nice neat line, so you can usually prowl one, kill it, come back, um, and keep doing that until they're all dead, and then go and open the door. No problem. When you can't kill the walkers that easily anymore, then you're probably going to want to run to the exit as quickly as possible. Um, this looks like it would be a very nice start for that because the um, uh, bottom path is not blocked so probably three assaults would be a good team um, just run right using decimators to stun everything get to the other side um, and get that door open um, but yeah it, it can be a really tough map especially if that light is blocked on there um, uh, but Hopefully, Charles Assaults will help with that. Um, now, my, I hate, hate, hate this map. Um, I don't know why. It's always been my bogey map since they brought it out. Um, you start split up. Uh, there's a tank to start with, and you've got to kill all the walkers on the map to start with. As soon as you kill all those walkers... Um, the trailer to the bottom left will open and two normal walkers will spawn so you want to if you can um, kill the last walker in overwatch to give yourself um, all three people um, all three survivors a chance to either move out the way of the walkers or stun them or however you want to deal with it um, then what you need to do once it's opened is shut it again and that takes two turns um i think it's two turns or is it three either way you've got to shut it again 
and two walkers will also spawn from there every time um, until it's closed. Um, and to make things a little bit harder for you, once you start closing it, you'll also get an auto spawn of a tank to the right near where Rick started here, and one um, way on the top where Glenn and Aaron have started, or one normal walker on the top. Um, so then, once that's closed, kill all the walkers and you're done. It It's random auto-spawn around the trailer, so it's really difficult to know where to position your survivors to keep the um, closer safe. Uh, and it's just a horrible, horrible map. Um, so yeah, good luck with that one. Um, and uh, I will be either using tools or taking one star on it from very early on. Um, the next map we got is Prison Cellar. So with Prison Cellar, um, you've got to get to the exit. Um, there are three rooms, and you survive, one survivor starts in each room. Um, and there are three times, uh, three actions which trigger spawns in in this map. Um, so the first two uh, spawns are triggered when you break a door seal and you don't actually have to run through the door for that to happen it's one space on either side of the door so if you run past the too close to a door you will trigger the spawn um, so when you break this first door um, seal um, two walkers will trig will spawn in the middle room you can see them coming out here um, and then when you trigger, if you break the second door seal, um, what will happen is you will get a tank and two normal walkers will spawn immediately in the third room. And then at the start of the next turn, uh, two more walkers will spawn on the line. And then at the start of the next turn, two more will spawn at the end of the line. After that, um, two walkers will spawn from the auto uh, from the body pile uh, in the bottom middle of the second room uh, from then on so the, and then the final trigger uh, condition to trigger the final spawn which is the most horrible one of all is if you kill four more than four try and keep it under four if you Kill, I think it's if you kill four of these walkers which have spawned, these circle ones here, um, then you'll get another spawn of two walkers on the line every turn, and that makes it incredibly difficult to finish. So, you could kill two of these walkers, no problem. You could kill three, no problem. But if you kill the fourth one, then you will struggle to finish the map because it's really, at higher levels particularly, it's really difficult to um, get on that line when there's two spawning each turn. So just make sure that you don't kill too many of them. Um, there's two ways of playing it. So you can kill everything uh, in your respective rooms with your survivors. So Daryl would run up and down prowling this one. Uh, in his room without going over that door. Uh, you'd probably get Morgan to try and stun them, the two that start in this room, um, or get him to draw them out and run past them and keep, try and keep them stunned and take some health off. And there's three that start in this room, so you could use another scout possibly to kill them, prowl past them, keep them, kill them. Once everything's killed, then it's just a case of running through. So you run through with Daryl, stun the two that spawn here or kill them, depending on who you're using. And then once, and then on the next turn, you would run through to the end room, um, and you'd go up in the top corner up where Right Gear Glen is. You want to pull all these walkers up so they follow you up to this top right corner, and then. Once they're, once they're really close, you need to run down to the bottom. Um, 
these walkers will all shift to right. They'll come down to you when you even need to stun them or run past them. Um, stay out of their way and then up to the line. The other option is, um, which is what I've done in this in this series of photos, is just run for it. So you run past for Daryl. Um, you choose one of the sets to stun with Morgan. Um, and then you run back with Glenn and break all the seals on the first turn. Um, so I would run back with Glenn and try to stun the other two. And then next turn, you then move up into this top left position. Top right position, sorry. Um, makes it a bit harder because you do have the original walkers wandering around which you need to deal with. But it just speeds up the process a bit if if you can take a couple of hits. Um, maybe 12 assaults will be useful on this map um, to, uh, to stun all of those where they are and then you can start running down the bottom quicker. Uh, I don't know. Um, but it's a tough map at a high level um, to not, not take a bruise. Um, but yeah, so once they're all up here, you can just run down the bottom right. Um, any comments or, or questions about this map, leave them in the leave them in the comments, and I'll uh, I'll try and answer them. Um, but uh, uh, good luck with that. Uh, this one, um, and I'll uh, I'll do some videos of it as well, obviously. Uh, the next map is the tank, which is probably going to be one of the easier maps this week with charged assaults. Um, Usually can't see much on the board, so you need to run around one of these blind corners. Um, and then you've got to put two charges on the tank and then detonate it with the box at the top. Um, what you want to do is to be able to put both charges and detonate all on the same turn. Um, the reason for this is um, you can be stood next to the tank, you won't get damage, the mission will just end. Um, and if you don't do all three on as soon as you hit one of the charges on the tank, um, you get an auto spawn of a couple of riots. So I imagine it's going to be running Daryl as far around to the left as you can, seeing what's there, and then using one assault's charge attack to uh, stun everything, and then run the other assault, and then hit the far left charge with Daryl, the other one with uh, an assault, and the third assault can then go in. Uh, hit the detonator you do sometimes get a poor start where the um, nearer the charge is blocked um, if you get that then you're probably going to want to flee um, and go again at higher levels but it should be quite an easy one and um, be nice to get round to when you get your master maps and the last one uh, to talk about today is fenced off so you start with split survivors again. The third position survivor is above the gate. Um, along with a tank and some walkers. And the bottom, the uh, first and second survivors are underneath the gate. Uh, they need to go and open the fence. And it starts with two uh, normal walkers down there. What you really want is the tank to wander off to the end zone by the gate. And then you can use um, priority targeting to your advantage on this map. Uh, for instance, if you got a, what I like to do is put my a bruiser behind the gate, and then get to this position here, stand him here, um, and then when someone's working on the gate, everything in that end zone should um, target the sh the person opening the gate, um, and because they can't reach them, they'll just wander around in there, and then all you have to deal with is the stuff on the left. So you've got an incoming, which um, if you can keep that down, great. Um, but when you start working on the gate, you will get auto spawns uh, in the end zone and to the left, um, near where Glenn is stood. Uh, if you can keep it stunned, brilliant. Um, you can have Rick or another survivor helping him out um, by hitting stuff through the gate. You really want to stay silent on this map. If you get a big incoming, it makes it really, really difficult. So silent weapons if you're using ranged, if you've got them, or melee 
um, melees needed with threat reduction. Um, I'll uh, I'll do a couple of videos of this um try and explain the priority targeting a little bit more, um how how that works and um, again it at high maps this high levels this is a really horrible map, uh to not get bruised on, um, but it it can be done and um, I hope uh hopefully I'll be able to do a commentary video on it, um so that that's it for um, for this week. Um, sorry about my voice, as so I'm not feeling great, but I hope you found it informative, um, and good luck, and uh, see you soon. Bye.